everybody. Good morning. Hello and welcome today. Do you know what day of the week it is today? Today is Wednesday. Let's do the days of the week from Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good morning, Rupert. Good morning, Lee and Riley. Lovely to have you join us today. Hello. Isn't it freezing cold? It's so cold. The weather says there's even snow on the mountain. That's why it's so cold. Shoo. Yes, it's freezing. I'm so cold here. Okay, today we are learning about South Africa. What is South Africa? South Africa is our country where we live. Okay, come and have a look at my desk over here. Can you see all my things on my desk? Okay, what do you see? What is this? What is this over here? It's the South African flag, yes, for our country. What do you see here? It's a lion. Okay, we find lions in South Africa, don't we? Here's all our South coins, South African coins. What do you see here? What animal is this with a horn on its nose? It's a, it's a rhino. Okay, and the elephant. Can you see the elephant's got tusks? And we've got zebras in South Africa. And a hippo, hippopotamus. Oh, this is a leopard. Can you see? Or you can have a cheetah. We've got leopards and cheetahs in South Africa. And what is this? A giraffe. Okay, we have find giraffe in South Africa. And what flower is this? Do you know what this flower is called? It's called a protea. I'm going to send this to mommy and daddy for you to, to color in this afternoon. Okay, this is our national flower in South Africa. Do you know who this man is? Do you know who he is? His name is Nelson Mandela. You might have heard of him before. He was one of our presidents. Okay, do you know who our president is at the moment? Do you know? His name is Cyril. Good, Rupert. You say it so nicely, Cyril. Ramaphosa, well done. Okay, do you have all your coins ready for me? Do you? Okay, I want to show you what the money looks like on the screen. Okay, would you like to look at the money? Would you like to see what the money looks like? Okay, there we go. Can you see on the screen there all the money? <gasps> what do you see? Do you see a five rand? Do you see a two rand? And a one rand? Do you see the 50 cents? The 20 cents? The 10 cents? And the five cents? Look at number. Can you find number five for me over there? Find the five cents for me. Can you see there's a picture of a bird on that coin? That bird is our national bird. It's called the blue crane. Can you see the bird? Pretty cool, isn't it? Wow. Okay. And look at our one rands and our two rands. Can you see what animal's on there? What animal is that? It's a springbok. A springbok, yes. That's our national animal as well. Okay. And look on the five rand. Can you see there's another animal on there? That is a Cape Buffalo, okay? One of our big five. We're going to learn about that in a minute. And look at our other, on the five round on the other side. That's a newer one. And that's got the coat of arms in South Africa. Wow, we. And look at our notes on this side. Okay, can you see our notes? We've got a 10 rand. Can you see the 10 rand up there? 10 rand, 20, 50, 100. And 200. Can you see all the animals on there? What's it right at the top? What color is the green animal? What is it? What is the green? A rhino. Good. And then what's the brown one below it? It's number 20. What animal is that? 
It's a elephant. Good. And what's number 50? What color? What animal is the red color? It's a this one. This one over there. It's a lion. And then just below, just below it is a hundred. Okay, that's a hundred rand. That's got the Cape Buffalo on. And then just below, what do you see there? What animal is that? That is our leopard. If you look at all the animals on our notes, those are our big five. Okay. So let's say them together. Can you see rhino, elephant, lion, good, and the Cape buffalo, and the African leopard. Okay, so those are our big five. Show me five. Show me five. That's our big five. Super cool. Would you like to hear what sounds the big five make? I would like to hear it. Okay, so let's go to our Big Five video and listen to the sounds of the Big Five animals. Okay, number one is the lion. Listen to him. Oh, <laughs> that's the girl lion. Can you see it's the girl lion? There's the boy. Beautiful, aren't they beautiful? Okay, that's the African lion. Next, we're going to see the elephant, number two. Can you see number two? Elephant. Oh, wow. Okay, number three is the rhino, the rhinoceros. Okay, this is the black rhino. Look at his, wow, look at his horns. And there's a baby one. Cute. Okay, next we're going to see the leopard, number four. The leopard. Wow, beautiful. Can you hear him, can you hear him purring? Because he's a big cat. So they also purr. Look at these beautiful spots. Okay, and the last one, number five, is the African buffalo. Oh, look at his horns. Wow. And there's some baby ones. They kind of look like cows, don't they? <laughs> Is the buffalo enjoying the water? Okay, lovely. Did you enjoy listening to all the sounds the big five make? Super exciting. Okay, I want you to come to our table quickly. Okay, now in, Af in South Africa, it's very sad. Some of the people like to hunt the animals, okay? What do you think they hunt them for? The rhino? What do you think they hunt the rhino for? For his? For his horns. They aren't very nice people, are they? They like to hunt them and cut off their horns. Not very nice. They're called poachers. Okay, and the elephant as well? He's got a tusk here. Can you see his tusks? They are ivory, okay? 
and the people like to hunt him and cut off his tusks and take them and sell them for lots of money. It's very horrible, isn't it? Okay, so we need to look after our animals and make sure we keep them safe away from these poachers. Okay, have you got your money ready for me? Your coins? Okay, we're putting the coins on top of a paper. And you see my coins. I've got a five rand here. I've got another five rand, an old one and a new one. I've got a five cents with the blue crane on it. I've got a 20 cents, a 50 cents, a one rand and a 10 cents. Okay, now can you see I'm going to put my other paper over it. Okay, I'm going to spread out my coins a little bit, I think, so you can see them a little bit better. And we're going to color over it now with a crayon. Do you have a crayon? And in a minute, we're going to color in our flag. Okay, watch me now. And the picture oh, comes out. Can you see what number that is? Okay, it's very difficult for you to see. But if you color over your money, you will see your coins. Can you hear that noise? Okay, our coins are coming through the paper. Not very easy for you to see, but I want you to do this. Okay, coins. There's the one rand with a springbuck on it. How cool is that? You can see the coins, okay? Now we're going to do our other one. 20 cents. I can see a 20 coming through there. Okay, what else do I have here? Looks like a 10 cents. There we go. Okay, and I've got one more coin, two more coins. Okay, it's the five cents. I can see it coming very clearly. Okay, so my coins are underneath this paper, and that's why they're coming out. Okay, five rand. Wow, and on the five rand, is it the water buffalo? It's the cape buffalo. Okay, can you see my coins coming through on my paper? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I've got seven coins. Can you see the magic? They were hiding underneath. And that's how I traced them. Okay, and it comes right through. On the five rand is definitely the buffalo, the Cape Buffalo. Okay, let's see my coins. If you've got your coins, Try and stack them on top of each other. See how many you can stack on top. I think you can go quite high with this if you've got lots and lots and lots of coins. Okay, look, I can stack them. Okay, good job. Now can you put them two coins together? Okay, any two coins, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to put my one rand and my five cents together. Okay. And I've got one over. And I've got my two five rands together. See, I'm putting them all in twos. Okay, a pile of two coins together. And I've got one odd one out. There we go. Okay, there are my South African coins. And if you go to other countries, they use different money. Okay, our currency is the South African rand. Pretty cool, hey? Okay, that's our money. Do you have your South African flag nearby? Are you coloring it already? <laughs> okay, we are going to color in our South African flag. Have a look at my flag over here. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, what colors can you see? What colors? I can see black. Okay, there's black. Okay, this is yellow or gold. It's more, it's more like a gold, eh? But yellow is perfect because we don't have gold. Green, it's a dark green. Can you see it's a dark green? It's not a light green. And what color is this? It's blue. Okay, is it a dark blue or a light blue? What do you think? I think it's a dark blue. And then we have the color red. Okay, red, and you can see here we've got white here. 
Okay, now make sure you've got your scissors nearby because after we've colored it in, we're going to color this in now. I gave you this to color in. Copy my colors. Okay, we're going to cut it out. I'm going to just put it like that. Okay, can you see the colors? No. Okay, there we go. Okay, the first one at the top. Okay, see so if you turn it this way, it's the wrong way round. Okay, so you got then you've got to color it different colors. It's going to be upside down. So let's put it the correct way, and we're going to start with our red. Okay, let's get our red color out and color it in. I'm going to color it in another with a different color now crayon because it's quite hard to color in with a cookie but I'm going to outline this red for you remember to hold your pen nicely for me okay so the top one is we're doing the top one it's red there we go okay so this flag represents our country South Africa and all over the world every country has their own flag Okay, this is our special flag. I think our flag is really beautiful, don't you? Okay, let's color in it red. Okay, and I'm going to color it in with a, see if you can see this one here. Okay, it's red. Color the whole one in red for me. Try and color in the lines. Okay, lovely. Okay, are you coloring it in red? The top one? Red. Good job. Okay, now we leave these ones white. You can see we don't color those ones in. Let's go do our black now. Can you see it's made up of a little triangle? It's a really beautiful flag. Okay, let's color our black triangle. I'm just outlining so you can see the colors nicely. Okay, lovely black triangle. Okay, now I'm going to color it in so you can see it properly. Okay, black. Our triangle is black. Are you coloring in your triangle? Okay, have you got your scissors nearby? For just now, we're going to cut it out. And then you're going to finish your flag at home later. Okay, color, color, color. Try and color the whole thing in. There we go. Okay, I've got black, red, black, and now I'm going to do my yellow. Okay, do you have yellow with you? Okay, I'm going to do my yellow. It's a very nice. Now the triangle, can you see? It's a triangle. Yellow. It's a triangle there, and then this is another one. Okay, yellow. Let's color in our yellow. And just now in a moment, we're going to sing the national anthem. Are you going to sing it with me? Okay, there we go. Yellow. Now what color do we need? 
Which one is this big one? What color is it? It's going to be green. Okay, so we need to follow the correct colors. Good morning, Jody. We need to color the correct colors of the flag, okay? We can't change the colors because these are our colors of the flag. We can't change them. I always tell you to make them whichever color you want when you want to draw or color in. But the flag, I want you to do them the correct colors, okay? Hello, Kelly. Okay, let's color green. We're doing green. Green for our flag. And all of these colors mean something. Okay, it represents our nation. Because we have a rainbow nation, don't we? And you know what a rainbow nation means? It means we're a mixture of lots of different people with different cultures. Okay, and languages. Did you know there are 11 official languages in South Africa? Yes, that's a lot of languages. Okay, and we can speak English and Afrikaans, and we're learning a bit of Kosa, aren't we? Okay, green. Are you coloring in your green for me? Okay, I've got a green. Okay, color in the lines for me as best as you can, holding your pen correctly. Lovely. And we've got one more color to do after this. Which color do we have? We're going to do the blue. Can you see? It's a, it's a beautiful blue. It's like a royal blue. Okay, color, color, color. I know it takes time to color in. And sometimes your hand gets tired, then just have a little break. And then run around and come back and color in some more. Okay, I'm coloring in here. Nearly done with my green. If you want to stretch your fingers, clo open, close, stretch them. Are they getting a little bit sore from all the coloring? Okay, good. Have a little run around if you, if you need to get your energy out. Open, close your fingers, stretch them out. Okay, lovely. Can you go up and down, up and down, up and down like you're playing the African drums? Okay, good. Very nice. If your fingers are feeling better, if you've had your run around, then you can come back and finish coloring in. If you still need to run around a little bit more, go for it. It's lots of work, isn't it? And our hands get tired. Okay, so lots of coloring in. And you don't have to finish this now. You can finish it later if you want. Okay. And what color green is this? Is it a dark green or a light green? It's a dark green, correct. Okay, there we go. How are you coming on? Are you still coloring? Okay, how about we sing the national anthem? Let's have a little break. And you can carry on coloring if you want, but we're going to go to our video of our national anthem. Are you ready? And often, when we sing, we put our hand like this, and, and out of a sign of respect and unity. So let's sing South, our South African anthem. Are you ready? Nkosi Sikaleli. Yeah. 
Hey Afrikaans! English now? Okay, there's Nelson Mandela. Okay, lovely. And they used to call him Madiba. Okay, lovely. So that's our national anthem. That's our song for South Africa. Okay, it's in different languages, just like South Africa. Okay, let's finish coloring in our flag and then we're going to cut it out. The green takes very long, doesn't it? But at least you've had quite a few breaks now. And you can finish it. If you don't want to finish it now, you can finish it later. It's fine. Okay, there we go. Nearly done. And then we're going to color in our blue. Okay, have you got your scissors nearby? And then you just need a straw or something to stick it onto that you can do later. But I'll show you what I want you to do. And you can make your own little flag and you can play with it. Okay, here we go. We've got our green, red, black, yellow. And now I'm going to color the last one in blue. Okay, let's color it in. Okay, there we go. Blue is our South African flag. Okay, do you have scissors nearby? I'm going to just color it in blue. I don't think you can really see this one, but it's fine. Okay. Color in your blue and then we're going to cut. We're going to cut it out. Follow the lines and we're going to cut around. Okay. Okay. I'm done with my flag. Are you done? Okay. Scissors, everybody. Let's get our scissors out. I'm going to cut it out. Okay, we're cutting. Try and cut on the lines best you can. And I'm going to turn the paper and try and follow on the lines. Okay, good job. And I'm turning again. There we go, and one more time. And we're going to cut the last bit out. What shape is this flag? Is it a circle? No, it's not. What shape is it? It's a rectangle. Can you make a rectangle shape with your crayons? Or your cookies? Watch here. I want you to try and make a rectangle shape using your cookies or your crayons. Okay, can you try and go around the flag? And I'm going to make a rectangle. See, I'm using whatever I have. I want you to try and build a rectangle out of your 
crayons or cookies. Okay, can you see my rectangle? There we go. Look at that. Okay, so the rectangle is long. Okay, and wide. There's my rectangle. Did you build it? Lots of fun. Okay, now you're going to do this at home later, okay, after the lesson. I want you to get a straw or something, okay, and at the back here, I'm just going to use a crayon for now. Okay, you're going to stick it with tape or whatever you have, okay, and then if you've got a stick, you would even find a stick outside, okay, a stick outside in your garden. And then you would sellotape it to the stick. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to hold it up. Can you see it here? No. Okay, let's do it over here. Okay, so there we go. It's stuck to my crayon. So you can cut it out and stick it to a stick or a straw if you have one. And you stick it on the back, okay? Just some sellotape and you stick it on the back like that. So that it stays, okay? And then you can just hold the stick and wave your flag around. Because flags are really fun on sticks, aren't they? Lots of fun. There we go. Okay, there's our South African flag. So much fun. Okay, and our beautiful lion. I'm going to sing a song with you before we go to our story. Okay, and I'll send you this beautiful picture of the protea, which is our national flower, and you can color this in and draw it at home. Okay, I'll send it to you after the lesson. There we go. Okay, good job. Okay, what song would you like to sing? Which one shall we sing? Okay, I'm going to sing... How much is that doggy in the window? And I want to hear you say, woof, woof. Okay, are you ready? How much is that doggy in the window? Woof, woof. I didn't hear you. The one with the waggly tail. Woof, woof. How much is that doggy in the window? Woof, woof. I do hope your doggy's for sale. Woof, woof. Good job. Okay, let me get my book out. Okay, so we learned about our animals in South Africa. What did we learn about? You find hippos and zebras and lions and leopards and cheetahs. Super cool. Okay, have a look at my book here. We're going to do the ABC book today. Okay, you're going to help me. We're going to... Open up the little shutters and close them. Okay, so you're going to guess what's behind them. Okay, we've got A. Ah. A ah is for apple. Okay, what else could A ah be for? I'm going to give you a hint. I am a tiny black insect. What could it be? Yes, an ant. Look at my ant. Ant. Okay, oh, this one is peeking out. <laughs> okay, B is for butterfly. Okay, and what else? What could it be for? I'll give you a hint. What is a round thing that you can catch? Throw and catch. Yes, it's a ball. B for ball. What else do you see here? K for car. It's the curly K. Okay, remember we learned it as the clever cat that goes k k curly k. Because there are there's another k, and that's the kicking k. Okay, what else could this be? I make milk and I say moo. What could it be? Yes, it's a cow. Look at this cow. Very nice cow. Okay, d is for Dog. Woof, woof, woof. D is for dog. Do you have a dog at home? Does your dog go woof, 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 woof? Okay, now 
Another D. I say quack. What could it be? What am I? Yes, I'm a duck. Good. Quack, 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 quack. You guys are so good at this game. My goodness. Okay. E is for? Remember we learned about the elephants that we find in South Africa, which is one of the big five. Elephant. Oh, flower. F for flower. E for? Ice cream. Would you like some ice cream? Mmm, I think we all like ice cream. Hey, now I'm not outside. I must be inside. Boo, she's inside the tent. She's not outside the tent. Okay, a G. We also find gorillas in South Africa, don't we? Okay, the G, G, G. Horse, ha, huh? for horse. J is for jump. Can you jump for me? Give me five jumps. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, J is for jump. Oh, and this one's also peeking. <gasps> really? The naughty book. Okay, what type of puzzle has lots of pieces? Do you know what it's called? It's called a jigsaw. Did you know that? A jigsaw puzzle. Okay, let's have a look what else is hiding. Oh, look at this. Cat for kitten. Meow. Look, the kitten's playing with some wool. L is for, what are they doing? They're laughing. Can you laugh for me? <laughs> oh, laugh for me. Come on. Okay, R is for orange. Oh, another one hiding. Oh, what are these animals doing? They're peeking. <laughs> they want to see you. Okay, I'm going to give you a hint. I'm a bird that flies at night. Okay, it's nocturnal, which means the bird is awake during the night and sleeps during the day. Yes, it's a... And he goes, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm a... I'm an owl. Okay. Oh, look at this one. I know you're like this one, Rupert. M is for a motorcycle. Rum, rum, rum. Can you ride your motorcycle? Get on your handlebars. Rum. Can you make the noise? Mm. Okay. M is for motorcycle. M is for nothing. <laughs> There's nothing on the paper. P is for pencils okay i can see a blue one a yellow one a red one and that's green okay and p p p i'm a baby dog what am i yes i am a puppy look at this cute puppy looks like a little labrador cute eh okay qua 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 are you a queen? Kua is for queen. She's got a crown on. She is a queen. R is for rabbit. Look at the rabbit. Can you hop like a bunny? Hop like a bunny. Hop, hop, hop. Like a rabbit, eh? Hey? Okay. S is for shoes. Okay, the s and the h huh, together make a sh. Remember, because Harry Hat Man tells Sammy Snake to shh. Okay, so that's why it makes a shh sound. T is for tractor. Okay, we use the tractor on a farm. A is for umbrella. Remember, upy umbrella. Okay, V is for vegetables. We all like our vegetables and we all need to eat our vegetables every day. Okay? Even though the tomato is actually a fruit, isn't it? Okay, we've got some cabbage, some radishes. And oh, we forgot to see this one. Ah, ah, ah. When I'm standing on my head, I am? What are you? <laughs> I am upside down. There we go. I take care of sick animals. What is that doctor called that takes care of sick animals? 
you know what they're called? Yes, they're called a v, v, vet. I am a vet. So if your dog or your cat or any of your animals get sick, you must take them to this doctor. It's an animal doctor. And they will help you. Okay, last one. W, w for whale. Okay, beautiful whale. And this is a, remember we did our instruments on Monday and we learned about a xylophone. Okay, it starts with a x. Okay, but you say xylophone. And you can play the instruments. And yeah is for yawn. Give yourself a big yawn. <gasps> and a stretch. <sighs> Good job. And z is for zebra. And in South Africa, you find zebras, don't you? Okay, they come from our country. Okay, now all of these, which letter? We're only going to choose two. Okay, what does it start with? What does a train start with? Which letter? Train, 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 ta, 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 ta. It starts with a T for train. Okay, and we're going to do one more. K, 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 K for cat. K, K, K. What does a cat start with? A K. Okay, a curly K. So you can do that. Find some pictures in your books and I want you to think what they start with. Which letter? Okay. So the zebra would start with a Z. Okay. The dinosaur would start with a D. You must look in your books and try and think what sound they start with or what letter. Okay. Good job. So we learned about South Africa today. I hope you enjoyed. There's our South African flag. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so I want you to finish your flag, put a little stick on it, and then you can, you know, fly your flag high for South Africa. Okay, we will see you tomorrow where we are going to learn about spiders. That's going to be fun. I don't like spiders. Do you? Okay, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. Keep warm. It's very cold. Stacey loves you. Bye-bye.